it's the last week. If we don't shoot it this week, it's not going to end up in the film. There's no more time. There's no more money. So this is a very important week. This is lit from before the lights goes off. Right. Now I'm ready to direct a film. I feel that I just had to, uh, you know, get everything shot that I think needs to be in the film. No matter what, you know, I just have to push for it. So, John, we just got a call that, uh, that Krista has just arrived at LAX. One of the actresses that we need more than anything isn't there. And her request was when she called in was, uh, could she go home for a while? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, first step? Okay. It blew my mind because, you know, I'm walking in there, I'm looking at the week we've got ahead of us, and I'm putting things in place to make sure that this can go as smoothly as possible. I mean, I, I've never come across any of this. I don't know if, right. I don't know if you've ever experienced it. Okay. Well, I don't know how we're going to do all this. Then. You need the actors to show up on time especially if it's a low-budget film. And if an actor just happens to come in late, it really could ruin the day. She missed her flight the night before, but a phone call to my guys would have set us up differently for that day, and we would have planned shooting something else. <laughs> guys, we got to set up this shot. I'm going to yeah. try to make it look like a slip, slip jump kind of thing. Well, we're we... trying to work backwards from the end of the day to make sure we got enough time to do it. On a bigger budget film, we might spend a week, even conceivably two weeks, doing a piece of action that's this big and involved. You're clearing, guys. Okay, it's picture, guys. Let's lock it up. Action. Hey, nice work there, all right? Good. Stand by. Okay. Nice kiss, kid. While talking about Paul Desai's hair, we know it's growing, it's, it's growing, growing out. out. I mean, he's asked to let it grow out as, as much as possible. And so I've been painting in, you know, the silver stuff. Over the course of this film, Balthazar's hair had grown a whole lot. It's especially noticeable when you have a buzz cut. He's right. growing hair like nobody's business. It like, just kills me. He, yeah. It was his idea, this idea this. to do it. And now we're yeah. just hostage over this thing. Balthazar's next movie starts days after we wrap this movie. It's a Steven Spielberg produced miniseries. And he needs to have long hair for the, for the role. I had a talk to the guys on the set. When we get into light, it will be really, really obvious. Right. Obvious to what, though? We haven't really been in light yet. Yeah, but we've seen you lit. I mean, I'd, I'd love to see one of the scenes where I'm okay. lit. If Balthazar refuses to cut his hair, then we would have no other option but to go to his agent and take a more aggressive response to this. Krista has arrived. Everything that could possibly go wrong this morning went wrong. I'm never late, and it was just, it, it was, it was uh, frantic. Chris has had some small parts in really big films, and she's probably seen what other actors get away with, but she can't bring that to our set. Chris is walking from trailer. I can make it no but just last night. I missed my flight last night. I know. Because I was late, but I got here and I'm here. No, 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 I'm doing it's worked out great. So Kristen, this is uh, picking up a pickup from Friday where you were on your way back, you're backpedaling, and we're just going to have you sprayed with some blood on this one. And we're going to have to put a little blood on you, too, before we do the take, because... Calm down with the blood, sweetheart. We're going to get it, don't worry. Don't get it in my eye, please, because it burns really bad. You did that before. Don't do it again. So you just have to close your eyes. It's a bloody movie. Hey, what movie did Krista sign up for? I don't know. Were they called Feast? She gets back like this. Bang! Splat! You know, she's backing up. So and um, look, Were you the blood down? is the most important thing right, right now. But is she down here? Not what we shot the other day. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to come from here. But if we could just be up here and come back. Okay, can I get some new pads? That'd be great. Yes. Okay. Kevin? Shake them, but don't break them, Chrissy. And action! Good, Chris. Nice deal. Nice one okay. side. Good. Wide. Okay, can we just do a pickup? The only mark. Action. He didn't 
John. Are we moving on? Okay, guys, we are moving on. Taking a lot of heat. Yeah. <laughs> when we had to take Krista back to the trailer and completely redo her hair and makeup in time to have her for the next take. Okay, so we want Krista for this shot. It would be faster and easier to just jump in the shower. Colleen? Okay. Yeah. She should not be taking a shower. Makeup is saying you don't need to take a shower. I don't care what Michael Meiser said. What did they say? How long are they going to take? Everyone up there is saying don't take a shower. I don't think she got that much blood on her to tell you the truth. I wanted to just go ahead and just shoot, and, and, and Chris is like, oh, no, no, I have to get cleaned up. The blood stains the face, and, and if you leave it on too long, it'll start to actually leave stain marks. The blood does not stain the hair, and I'm, I don't know, I'm asking, why are we taking so long to do it? I thought we, she was going to be ready for this shot. Original estimate was 10 after, so another 15 minutes. And I think that that's even pushing it now. That she's going to be in the air another 10 minutes, if not 15. By the time I got down there, it was too late. She's already wet. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> I was in a movie in Florida where the hero was such a pain in the ass to work with that they decided to kill him instead and make someone else the hero. Right? I love it. I love it. Hey, Krista? Yes. More blood. No. Um, you do. <laughs> okay, stop it. Um, Krista changed her bra. Her bra? The one that she's wearing is different than she's one born beforehand. So continuity can get a little weird, you know, just like Balthazar's haircut, you know. Everything in this film takes place in just a matter of hours, so you'll start noticing that things aren't, you know, the same. The nipples show through the they open, don't, they, don't. they don't show through the yeah. open. Yeah. I knew that would be it. <clears throat> hey, Krista. Yes? Um, there was some wondering if about the, you, cha you change your bra and, and, and did, you, did we change the bra or anything? No, you never saw it. I always had the thing on. Always. Okay. You've never seen it. But there was a, like, somehow, you know, we would see kind of like, we saw, we saw like, the outline of some, like, the nipples a little bit more. Is it, is it, you know what I'm saying? Just, no. just, no? No, but sorry. Okay, just check. Just want to make sure you want to, okay. That was really embarrassing. I mean, Chris just flat out called me a nut. Sorry, I, I talked to her about the, uh, the bra thing. Didn't really go over too well. Um, 